Hey, what's up guys? If you guys like jailbreaking, then you're going to want to keep listening because jailbreaking may soon become illegal. It was in July of 2010 when jailbreaking was granted legal and right now it is set to expire soon so it's going to be made illegal if this um, actually expires. So the Electronic Frontier Foundation is actually trying to get people to sign a petition to make jailbreaking legal once again. Now prior to July of 2010 jailbreaking wasn't illegal or legal but now that a law was actually passed to make jailbreaking legal and it's expiring it will be made illegal if this um, doesn't get reinforced. Force. Now, if jailbreaking were to become illegal, that means that the police could actually charge you for editing your own device. So how would you like if you jailbroke your device and you added some tweaks that made your device better and then the police came knocking at your door and they're like, hey, let me see your iPhone and it's jailbroken. You could get actually charged for that if um, jailbreaking were to become illegal. So this is exactly why we want to make it legal now again. Also, if jailbreaking were to become illegal, then that means all the jailbreak developers, they're going to quit whatever they're doing because the developers could get charged a lot of money for um, developing the jailbreak tool. Currently, the only thing that jailbreaking actually does is void your Apple warranty. So if you were to take your jailbroken iPhone into the Apple store, you're not going to be able to get any help from them because it's actually jailbroken. The only thing technically illegal about jailbreaking is install us, which allows you to get free applications that would normally be in the app store. That is illegal. So I suggest that you don't try using install us much at all because you could actually get charged for that even if jailbreaking is still made legal. Currently, the EFF is trying to get the DMCA to make jailbreaking your smartphones, tablets, and video game systems legal. In the past, only jailbreaking your smartphones was legal, but it's, it's soon going to be made legal to actually jailbreak video game systems such as the Xbox 360 and PS3. So if you want to actually help make jailbreaking legal, once again, all you have to do is in the description below or right here, you will find a a link to the copyright office you're going to have to fill out a form and a text document on your computer stating why you want jailbreaking to become legal so in your text file you're going to want to tell them which form of jailbreaking you're supporting whether it be the smartphone the tablet or the gaming system also tell them some of your background tell them if you're a developer or you're just a regular user you also have to tell them what device you want to have the legal authority to jailbreak whether it be the iPhone the iPod the Android or whatever. Also make sure to tell them what types of limitations would you have if you could not jailbreak your phone. You could say something like, I won't be able to customize my phone, have custom backgrounds, have custom icons, or anything that you feel like would help them pass the law. Or possibly if you're a developer and the iOS app store has denied your application, then you can tell them that you want to jailbreak because you want to develop an application for a jailbroken phone or device. But guys, in this video, that's all the information I can provide for now. If you want more information, then there will be a link in the description to EFF's website and it'll give you all the info you want about making jailbreaking legal. Now, lastly, the only thing left is remember to subscribe, like, and comment with any questions or arguments or whatever you want to say, whatever. I will see you guys in the next video.